Amber Heard spotted smiling in Spain after paying $1 million settlement to Johnny Depp. The actress's film, In the Fire, will have its world debut at the Tormina Film Festival on June 24. Amber Heard is continuing her life in Spain after putting an end to the legal saga with her ex-husband Johnny Depp. Heard, 37, was seen grinning while out and about in Madrid on Wednesday following news of the $1 million settlement being paid to Depp, 60, earlier this week and the five charity he'll donate the money to. Heard moved to Spain, where she now resides with her daughter Una Page, who is two years old. On June 24, she will attend the global premiere of her film In the Fire at Italy's 69th Tormina Film Festival, marking her first significant public appearance since the trial. Heard couldn't wait to leave the U.S. with her daughter, following the Virginia defamation trial with Depp last summer, a source told P.O.P.L.E. in April. According to The Insider, Heard gets more privacy in Spain. The trial was beyond stressful for her, and she just wanted to start fresh outside of the country, the person claimed. She is looking forward to working and filming once more. She was worn out and unhappy in the outcome of the case. She believed she was treated unfairly. Camille Vasquez, Johnny Depp's attorney, discusses the verdict attorneys continue to text actor frequently one year later. Exclusive, but now that it's all behind her, the person continued. She is focused on the things she loves and has new energy. Hurt stated in a statement that it was a very difficult decision and that it not an act of concession when she and Depp reached a settlement and decided to halt their repeatals in December. It's crucial for me to state that I never selected this, Hurd said in his letter. I stood up for the truth, and in doing so, my life as I knew it came to an end. When women come forward, they are re-victimized in ways that are exacerbated, and that is what I have experienced on social media. Finally, she added, I have the chance to free myself from something I tried to escape more than six years ago and on terms I can live with. I have not admitted anything. This is not a concession in any way. Moving ahead, there are no limitations or gags on my voice. Never miss a story again. Subscribe to People's free daily newsletter to receive the best of the magazine's content, including juicy celebrity news and gripping human interest tales. Heard claimed that during the live broadcast trial, she was exposed to a type of humiliation that I simply cannot relive and that she simply cannot go through that for a third time. I cannot afford to risk an impossible bill, one that is not only financial, but also psychological, physical, and emotional. She continued at the time, women shouldn't have to worry about being abused or going bankrupt for expressing their truth, but regrettably, it happens frequently. I won't let what happened intimidate, demoralize, or prevent me from telling the truth. Nobody will be able to take that away from me. My voice will always be my most precious possession, Heard stated. Last month, Depp attended the Cannes Feature Festival, where his French movie Jean Dubarry served as the festival's opening night feature. In a news conference, Depp was questioned about his decision to return to acting in movies following the trial and whether he feels boycotted by Hollywood. Do I feel boycotted now that Amber Heard has spoken out about moving to Spain following the Johnny Depp trial and said, I love living here? Not at all, no. But because I don't consider it, I don't feel like Hollywood is shunning me. I do not consider Hollywood. I personally don't need Hollywood all that much more, he told the press. I keep pondering the word comeback because I didn't go anywhere, he continued. In actuality, I'm roughly a 45-minute drive away. Therefore, it's possible that people stopped phoning because of whatever their current worry was. However, I didn't get lost. I have been doing nothing.